creativity has become a buzzword, often misinterpreted or misunderstood. However, when we speak of creativity, we emphasize the key elements that are necessary for something to be considered as being creative. These are novelty, such as adding an element of surprise or having an original idea, and usefulness, which establishes a purpose. An ongoing debate has been trying to establish whether creative people are creative by nature or whether is it a skill which has to be learned. Our view is that creativity is not a skill which may be taught in a traditional sense, but it may be fostered and encouraged through various means. In essence, creative talents need an adequate environment to develop. A common misconception people have about creativity is that it needs to be demonstrated through art. On the other hand, work related to science is generally viewed as a very rigid field with little room for being creative. In reality, one may find creativity in its various forms in many different areas, including science. The way a person approaches a scientific challenge, the way something is developed, or even a new discovery, all have various levels of personal and professional creativity. The levels of creativity may also vary, and although many believe that to be creative one needs to perform at a genius level, it is not necessarily so. Of course, creativity may be explored at its highest level, such as when something groundbreaking is being invented, or a child prodigy is writing poetry. But creativity can also be seen on a daily basis, such as finding a new route to work or experimenting with a new recipe. So in order to be creative, one does not need to be a genius, but simply needs some thinking and a little effort. It may not be an easy task to measure creativity, it can be accomplished by looking at how unique something is, how useful that thing may be, or how it changes the existing situation. By exploring different aspects of an object and thinking in unconventional manners, one may also find a number of ways to add value to that object. Another misconception is that for an object to be creative, it needs to be entirely new. That is, invented from nothing. Something may be considered creative, even if it is only slightly modified or improved. Even if an existing object is used for a new purpose, that may be considered as being creative. There are no strict rules as to how to become creative or how to apply creativity. It is important to experiment and to test individual creative potential.